The fourth method is the Green Amps Green Amps equation. Green Amps method. <coughs> this is assumed waiting front is the shaft boundary. Okay, divide the soil with the small content theta i below the from the saturated soil and the moisture content the porosity is n. So this this figure if we come to the basic we assume that there is one place that we want to measure the, the change of moisture with the depth. For example, this is like it's a plan one point on the surface. And we set up the probe to measure the mesh along the depth of the soil. Okay, we, we set up the <coughs> the probe to measure the moisture so we can measure the moisture with the depth <coughs> okay <coughs> if we measure the moisture it can be like it's constant along the depth at, at t0 at the beginning so it can be like theta i theta i is mean the initial moisture content okay, yeah. Put some water on the on this on the surface. Okay, <coughs> so the, the water infiltrates the soil. Okay, so that it's like this can be like this. It's a T at T one. The yes, moisture content starts to increase from the depth to deeper, deeper, and for T two, breaking like this, more deeper, the get wetter, and three T. At some point, oh, the theta is uh, the saturation, so we call the theta S. <coughs> but with this assumption, we <coughs> assume that it's uh, the it is is we call a sharp, uh, sharp boundary from this. So it mean we can assume that it's like this case. assume that it's sharp boundary but in the, in the real condition it's like this it's not a sharp boundary <coughs> so this is it means the bed wetting front moving to the surface and chain rapidly from uh theta i to theta s but actually it's not not the sharp chain okay okay based on this we can Develop the equation for Green Amps equation. This is boundary condition. Uh, <coughs> it's a, so it means on the top is a wet soil and the bottom is a dry soil. Change from the wet uh, from dry soil to wet soil. And to develop the equation for Green M is we use the conti continuity equation. And the control volume <coughs> is defined on the top of this figure okay and the moisture content change from theta i to theta s and <coughs> because the, the accumulate water accumulate infiltration is equal to l time the change of moisture <coughs> the equation we call the move time equation <coughs> we use Darcy equation to explain okay and for <coughs> 
head we have like head is divided to the static head and suction head we call the total head okay in this case we apply to the first point and the second point between This is the first point, and we assume it's a datum. This is the second point at the front. So at point one and point two, we can apply to this. It's point one and point two, C one and C two. Okay. <coughs> so C two is C one is zero. Okay. So we got the C2 is L. This one is C2 is L. <coughs> Negative L. And for the pointing depth is almost zero. So we can assume it's zero. H0. Okay, we combine this equation to get the two equations to get Greenham equation. So this is a Greenham equation. And if we want to, this is infiltration rate. And if we want to get the accumulate infiltration, we have to some integration. Okay, that is the the integration integration process. Okay. So finally you get this equation to, to have equation of the infiltration capacity yeah and the equation of the accumulated infiltration the <coughs> you can see that the f for the f is on the both side ft and on the left side that is more difficult to solve this equation uh, manually <coughs> okay you can see that this equation requires many parameters require okay, head set require velocity and waiting front soil section head okay so it, the book score it and develop the that this parameter we start to propose the, the new parameter we call the effective saturation that is the definition of effective saturation and uh, effective porosity. Okay. <coughs> and for the effective saturation is between zero and one, and for <coughs> porosity is between theta r and theta s. Theta is a residual moisture content. Okay. If I come with the final. The result from this derivation we got the chain of the moisture is equal to one subtract saturation effective saturation times theta e okay. and final with the this equation effective saturation is a function of the soil suction. This is the <coughs> soil suction head and effective saturation. Okay, it depends on lambda. Now, okay, to come up with the <coughs> a table, this table give the equinam infiltration <coughs> parameter. <coughs> so, the first we have to know the soil classification and we can estimate what is the porosity, effective porosity, as Waiting for the soil second head and hydric conductivity. You can use this parameter to so to find the, the infiltration rate or accumulate infiltration.